Welcome back everyone, Gerent here and we are continuing our Leviathan DLC and for that we have to go back to Dr. Bryson's lab. We'll probably go in there with Edie again but we'll see soon enough. There we go. Edie is with us. We need to shield the artifact they've got here right away. Using Garno's data, I should be able to accomplish this without difficulty. Well done. Things been here the whole time. Why weren't we affected? Perhaps the amount of time spent near the artifact is key. After a certain duration, it affords Leviathan an impressive mind control capability. Mm. That reminds me a little bit of Mass Effect 2 with the arrival DLC in Dr. Kenson. Um, they were also, I mean, it wasn't, I don't know what, which artifact it was. I think it was a Reaper, yeah, it was a Reaper artifact. And they basically were working on it and uh, have been in, in contact with it for a long time. So I guess it's kind of the same, but we'll see. I'd call it dangerous as hell. Bryson's assistant tried to kill me. Perhaps Leviathan was controlling him to protect itself, diverting people away from its trail. Maybe. It just shows we don't know what we're dealing with yet. Despite the risk, this artifact remains our only link to finding Leviathan. Perhaps we could find more information about it. Here in the lab. Agreed. Bryson's team might have turned up something we missed. I'll look around. Okay, uh, it seems like the stuff is um, again changing, so we get new uh, items to interact with. Bryson's assistant Hadley. Do we have an update on his status? He is in a vegetative state. The doctors believe it is permanent. But the miners recovered when the artifact was destroyed. Hadley lost consciousness when he attempted to answer our questions about Leviathan. It may have been a deliberate attempt to silence him permanently. Alright, so what else do we have? Energy emissions test. Initial tests. Artifact tests negative for infrared and ultraviolet emissions. No gamma or X-ray radiation detected. Follow-up tests. Artifact does not react to application of various stimuli. Internal readings inconclusive. No progress in determining age. Guess I stayed here all night finding out that this thing isn't really important. Fell asleep at desk. Conclusion. Artifact is definitely inert and safe. Recommend keeping it here for reference. We should all be near it. May be more useful than Leviathan in long run. Recommend we abandon hunt for Leviathan and seek more <laughs> productive studies. Okay, already has the... The effects there. <laughs> they were testing the artifact for energy emissions and found nothing. Still, I recommend leaving it shielded. Yep. Anything interesting about the artifact's structure? It is not constructed of the same compounds used in standard Reaper technology. Beyond that, nothing of relevance. Yeah, we got something here. Edie, what project was Garneau working on when he found the artifact? Basilisk. Got anything on Basilisk? Several ships, a mythical creature, and a rare mid-tier enemy type in the Galaxy of Fantasy video game. It possesses a gaze attack capable of triggering synced animation kills. Player forms describe it as overpowered. I meant the project, Edie. <laughs> oh. Then, no. There's got to be something here on this artifact. What about the server? Bryson's assistant wiped the office server and destroyed all backups, likely before killing Bryson. However, records show new messages on Bryson's personal comm terminal upstairs. Could be worth a look. I think uh, Bioware made a hint to... to uh, Baldur's Gate with the Basilisk. Okay, it seems we uh, we don't have anything here. 
Okay, let's go up. Oh, let's go upstairs. Check those emails. A message from Dr. Bryson's daughter, Anne. According to my records, she worked with her father. I'm at the dig site in the Pylos Nebula. Project Scarab paid off. I've got another artifact like the one Garneau found. I think it could be affecting people's behavior. You need to shield the one in your office. I tried to warn Garneau, but I can't get through. We've got Reaper scouts coming in toward the main site. I'm heading to the secondary base to grab what research I can. Anne Bryson was attempting to contact Garno on the asteroid colony. She seems to know something about the artifact. She sounded worried. If Reaper forces were approaching, her concern was warranted. Let's hope we get to her before they do. She said she was in the Pylos Nebula, working for Project Scarab. That cluster contains several systems. I'll call up the nebula on the galaxy map. We may also search the lab for clues to narrow down her location. Okay, so... I would say we get more things to interact. Yeah. The Reapers. Let's hope we find Anne before they do. Okay, there's something here. Does anything in Anne Bryson's work history suggest where she might be? Nothing relevant. Okay. Oh. Can you identify this, Edie? It originates with a pre-spaceflight culture, but there are none recorded in the Pylos Nebula. Search this area here. Okay. Task Force Aurora, current travel requisition, Project Basilisk Team Leader Garneau, Transport MSV Kirkwall, Project Scarab, Team Leader Bryson and Transport Icarus. And Bryson flew out on a ship called the Icarus. Can you track its movements? No. The Reapers have disrupted civilian comm buoys. But we might learn more if we find the ship's specifications. Okay. Any idea if Project Scarab involved Element Zero? Unlikely. We may learn more from the Project Requisitions Locker. Okay. Any correlation between Project Scarab and these unexplained creature sightings? Not beyond Leviathan itself. Okay. Nothing here. Oh, there is something. There are specifications for several ships here. We need to find the Icarus. Okay. Ah, okay. The Icarus. Here we go. The ship has enhanced electrostatic discharge cells. They facilitate long-range FTL travel. So they jumped to the Pylos Nebula by mass relay, then flew to another system? Yes. Otherwise, they would have chartered a less expensive ship. Okay, we can rule out the relay system. Yeah. Let's check if we find something more. <clears throat> nope. The locker is secure. We must locate an access card to open it. Um, ah. What's this? Access card for the requisitions locker? Yes. According to records, it was last used by Anne Bryson to obtain equipment for Project Scarab. Oh! I don't activate it too. Prothean artifact. Protheans. This might be the only thing in the galaxy that doesn't involve them. <laughs> oh, we have to check the locker now. Let's see what Anne Bryson requisitioned for Project Scarab. Wind protection gear. <laughs> Didn't take breathing masks. Based on what Anne Bryson did or did not requisition, the dig site was arid but habitable. Get me a filter for systems with compatible planets. Nope, oh, a soul drival omniblade. So I think we found everything. So let's have a look here. Based on the search data, it is one of these two systems. Based on the data, only one system remains a viable possibility. Good. Let's go get Anne Bryson. Alright. So I think we can go back to the Normandy. Yep. So 
the last time I was here there wasn't anything worthwhile talking with the crew so I imagine it won't be this time. I'm gonna talk with Trainer and if nothing comes up then I'll just continue with the DLC. Anything to say? Commander. No. Okay. So I guess we can go. Um <laughs> I mean, we could... I'm not sure which system it was that was blinking up here because it was... That's, it's not really the same uh, location on that on the other map in Bryson's lab than this one. So... Excuse me. So, um, I think we'll just go to that uh, Pylos Nebula. Let's have a look here. Signal confirmed. Oh, lots of Reapers. Izale. Izale is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant. Though gas giants are known for their powerful magnetic fields, Izale's field is stronger than current models predict. With the frost line of its solar system, where gas giants do not usually form, Izale is believed to have once been exosolar. With no infrastructure to speak of, the Reapers have ignored Izale as a military target. It seems we won't ignore it. Okay. Jovian Dissertation. 50%. Um, pretty sure we will get Reapers with the next scan, but as far as I know, the Reapers reset when we do a mission, so I guess we can just search around here if we find something. Oh, there we go. Probably fuel. Faster than light jump successful. So we can go to the next system. Okay, there are no Reapers here. That's I good. Something. Okay. Cineos. Okay, a standard hydrogen helium gas giant. Cineos has more than 80 moons. Wow. Here it is. Radiation shielding sheath. All right, that's also that one left, uh, which means we can go to the dig site and get everything done, I would say. Signal confirmed. Okay, no reapers, so we can scan in peace. Oh, all right. Um. Let's take this one, probably the fuel, yeah. And we are ready for... Namakli, an arid but habitable planet, Namakli was previously colonized by the Pirena Corporation, a consortium of Asari colonists and socialized Warcher laborers. After an economic downturn, however, many Asari left the planet and the Warcher population kept growing to the point where they bred faster than they could be educated. Soon they turned violent and uncontrollable and the colonies essentially self-destructed. Today Namakli is a wasteland with little population, but Warcher packs are scattered across the deserts. Settlers frequently run into these packs, discouraging recolonization. The lack of complex biota and scarcity of profitable metals drove the last few proverbial nails into Namakli's coffin. No one has stepped forth in the past few years with the will, the founding or the firepower to establish a permanent colony. That's probably where Anne Bryson is then. Search successful. Scans have located a close grouping of environmentally shielded habitats and an active power source. Close examination is required to confirm the site presence. Okay. 
We have located Anne Bryson's dig site. Thanks, Edie. Okay, we're going in with Edie. And I think James. We haven't had James in a while. Oh, uh, I wanted to say Liara. Sorry. <laughs> I wanted to go in with Liara and James. Uh, okay. Need anything here? Taboon, yeah. Um, don't think we will take that. I mean, he is not using it anyway, so. Liara has that one. So, as far as I know, that's already maxed out, right? Yeah. And that one is nearly maxed out. Okay. Haven't we bought something else now for more damage? I think I give Liara that one. Increase power damage by 10%. Again, she's probably not using it, she's using the pistol, but... Oh, by the way, pistol. Don't we have that for the pistol too? No. Okay. Okay, then let's go in with the team that we have here. Three points here, nothing I can do. Nine points, okay. Let's give him fortification. Reduce power speed penalty. Increase damage protection. Speed penalty. Um, and frag grenade you can also have. All right. I, oh, I think we will level up to 60. I'm not sure, but I think 60 is the max level anyway, right? So I don't think we can even upgrade that because we have like seven points then. Uh, so we can only update Cryoblast then. But it's okay. Let's go in. Okay, so we got reports of an attack on some scientists, right? Right. Edie, can you tell us anything else? This is the main site of a series of excavations established under Dr. Garrett Bryson. Staff records confirm the project lead is his daughter, Anne. She has recently uncovered another artifact possibly linked to Leviathan. That discovery must have made this dig site a target. Yes. The attack means the Reapers are one step ahead of us. We need to pick up the pace. And since Bryson's daughter is our only lead, our objective is clear. Cortez? Nothing so far, Commander. If she's down there, she hasn't responded to our hails. Getting some strange signals, though. Give me a minute. The artifact she uncovered may have caused additional problems. Who knows what we'll find? Agreed. Take us in closer. Copy that. Ooh, what's flying over there? We have hostile! Take us in! Commander, on the landing platform! That's her. Okay, let's get this. Ah, I knew it. Get us over there. Negative, it's too hot. Heading to lower platform. Hang on. There, go. Jump. We're in the shit now, Commander. This isn't a dig site. It's a war zone. Move. She's somewhere above. Oh my god. What the hell? Hello? Is anyone there? I'm coming down. No. Stay where you are. 
This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance Navy. It's too dangerous. We'll come to you. Yes, okay. You should take the elevator up on the far side. Copy that. We're on oh. our way. Or not. It's just a bunch of harvesters, nothing major. Oh wait. Uh we have only No, he has incendiary armor. Not sure. Maybe we we used the incendiary armor on all the backup systems. Then uh -huh. we're gonna switch back, and we will use Liara's. Uh, weaken arm of ground targets. More damage to barriers and armor. Okay. Oh, and we also can do. Probably Carnage there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. AT-12 Raider. Okay, it looks like a shotgun. Oh. Okay, nothing here. So I guess we have to go up there. Oh, oh. oh. Graffiti. Controls are broken. Someone try to fix it. You got it. Ah, wires are fried. Give me a minute. I won't. Of you course. Won't work. You done? Well, that seemed to work. I'm raising the bridge now. Got it. Thank you. 
Really? Come on. Nice one. Okay. Move! That elevator can't be far! I saw husks there. This way. There we go. Knew I saw them somewhere. There's the elevator. Got it. Is there anything working at all? Mass pulls recoil system. So I have to climb somewhere, probably over there. Bye bye. Oh, what the hell? Get pretty much everything here. Hey, okay, some credits. Bye. Is there someone shooting at us? Where are my guys? Oh, there we go. Commander, they attacked my assistant Hopkins. We're being cornered. Stay hidden, Doctor. We're trying, but there's too many of them. Hurry. It's a little bit hectic around here. Not gonna lie.
I have a feeling we have to find uh, have to fight harvesters too. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, it's just a brute. Nothing major, just a brute. I can live with. Anne, you still there? We're barely hanging on. Hopkins is wounded. Are you close? We're moving as fast as we can. Hang in there. Coming down. What the hell? I think that's the most hectic quest I've ever had before. All the shaking and stuff. At least we got a medic hit back. I saw that I only got like 100 and something XP, so I think uh, we reached uh, the max level already. It means we are completely upgraded with everyone, theoretically. James, I thought someone else is done. <coughs> There's nothing we can take here. Let's have a look over here. Yeah, I would say that's the same. The like from elevator's up ahead. Get to like, it. Like from coming here, okay. So we basically made a turnaround and came back again. Let's have a quick look here.
Ooh, 5k credits. Everyone in or not? Elevators online. We're coming up. Please hurry. I think Hopkins is dead. Yeah, it doesn't look too good. He tried to run. I told him not to, but he wanted to help the others. Where did everyone go? I'm sorry. They didn't make it. Doctor, I need you to come with me. Oh god. Yes, of course. I uh, was at another dig site when they attacked. I got back as quick as I could, but what's happening? Commander. Yeah, we saw that one. I'm not sure, but it might have something to do with these paintings. Is that Leviathan? Y yes Yes, we think so. It's, it's old, much older than my father thought. And there, as if the natives were under its power. Clearly a reaper, but acting alone. Not like any reaper we've seen before. Doctor, I understand you found something recently. The artifact. Yes, of course. Incredible. It's just ahead. Uh -oh. It may sound strange, but I'm certain it affects people, their behavior. I've only had a short time to study it. Not strange at all. Did you find anything? Not much, but I did learn something about the energy it generates. Get down! What are they doing? They've activated it. I've never managed anything... Oh, okay. Doctor. They've learned to uh, the darkness must not be breached. Shepard, take it out. Done. You okay? Cortez, we have Ann Bryson. Need a pickup. On my way, Commander. Copy that. You see the shuttle? You run. Don't look back. Okay. Yes. You need to get rid of that harvester. We'll you don't down. say. What the hell? I can't. Just want to check if there's something to loot. There we go. Ah, just a medkit. Huh. 
Oh, <laughs> Shepard is shoving her in. Damn, that was a really nice mission. You okay? Yeah, Commander. I, I think so. I blacked out. Leviathan took control of you. We cut the connection before you got hurt. Leviathan itself? That's incredible. The Reaper seem as interested in it as we are. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. We were hoping you could help us figure out why. But first, Doctor, I have some bad news. Anne, please. Suppose Leviathan's broken away from the other Reapers, never went back to Dark Space, like a rogue or even a defector. I have to call my father. He'll want to know. Anne. You need to listen to me, okay? Your father is dead. Sorry. He's... What? Dead? He can't be dead. Well... We met with him, hoping to find out what he knew. Something happened. Something happened? You're not the first to lose control. Your father's assistant. One minute he was fine, the next. He drew a gun on your father. I couldn't stop him. I can't believe this. We have to find out what's behind it all. You're the only one who can help us. Anne? I... I, I want to see his office. We'll arrange for transportation and meet you there. Okay, so I think we can still go there, but let's have a Commander. a quick talk with Edie because it was a mission again, and maybe Choke and Edie have something to say. Commander, I have formulated a psych profile for Doctor Anne Bryson. She is not used to death, but she may be quite capable under stress. How's the ship holding up, Edie? The envelope of mass-free space we create when we travel at FTL limits any impact of micro-collisions with ambient dust. Nevertheless, some ablation does occur at subluminal speeds. Normandy will need maintenance before the year is out. If we live that long, I will totally spring for it. Hello, Shepard. I think we heard that one before, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> okay. So Edie has something had a little bit to say, so let's uh, check out everyone else real quick. If another harvester keeps me from dropping you off in the target LZ, so help me. That's the fine. Don't let those oversized roaches push you around. Mr. Vega, taking on a sky full of worm necks and a troop transport is like sending you against the Earth invasion armed with brass knuckles. What? You don't think I could do it? <laughs> Everything okay, Shepard? Everything is in order. Everything is in order. Okay. Good, then let's give a little quick new tint on our armor. Let's talk with James. I don't know the scientific measurement of a shitload, but that seemed like a shitload of harvesters. Yep. Hey. That it was. Hey, Ducky. Good dog. Let's go to engineering. Uh, I'm pretty sure Ellis has nothing to say, like always. Commander. As I thought. No regrets over fighting the Reapers on a human ship? Hey, the Normandy's design was part Turian, remember? You know what I mean. No, somebody has to keep you from giving all the Dextros a bad name. That's right. I remember you chastising me on behalf of my species for losing our homeworld to the Geth. I never said that. 
Would you like me to send you an audio recording? <laughs> no, I hate listening to recordings of myself. My voice never comes out right. Hmm. Listen, about what I said. Forget it. No, I was wrong. I was young and I was wrong about your people. Oh, and about you. Oh, thanks. How about you? You ever mind serving on an all-human ship? It's not all human, as long as you're here. Whoa, that's some heavy, heavy flirting I'm going glad on there. I'm Bryson got out safely. I just hope we find Leviathan before the Reapers do. Talk to you later. Uh huh. Commander. Commander. Nothing to report. Mm hmm. Sure, there isn't. What's up, Javik? If Leviathan is a defector, a reaper that broke away from the others, then it is also a traitor. And traitors are never to be trusted, even among the enemy. If they can betray their own kind, imagine what they can do to you. Sure. Commander. Okay, let's uh, go to Krudak. Talk with Ashley. I'm always I'm always taking the wrong side. Ah, not this time. I heard you had to break the news to Anne about her dad. I'm sorry, Shepard. So brutal what happened to him. I can't imagine what she's going through. Hey there. Talking with uh, Chakwas. Let's talk with Garrus and then with uh, Liara. What's up? I can handle the Reapers that run around, or the ones that crawl, or the ones that shuffle menacingly toward you, but it's the flying ones that give me the creeps. <laughs> so who needs their ass kicked now? Your service. There is nothing there. What is it with you and rescuing scientists from dig sites that have been overrun by hostile forces? <laughs> if you decide to help her take down the shadow broker, I'm going to be jealous and somewhat concerned. <laughs> Feel free to look around. Oh, that's all a good one. So she's not on the Normandy, and Bryson, it is. At least I don't think she is. No. Well, I would say we are going uh, in those systems that we haven't explored and check if, if we got everything. Once we have collected the last things here. But I mean, it's nothing that we actually need, I would say. We're just gathering the, the fuel that we don't really need currently, but the units are not that much. So it's, it's okay, I guess. That one? We should be done with that system then. Okay, let's have a look uh, at the Crescent Nebula. Have a look here. Sarn. Best to be here. Okay, nothing here. And no Reapers, okay, that's good. Oh! There are Reapers, okay. I found something. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Bayalt. Credits recovered, okay. Blue Siren Seed pummels the Nirana Belt, a ring of protoplanetary material relatively close to the star. 
However, this heat is not enough to instigate true melting as occurs in a planet's formation, so carbonaceous asteroids such as Bayalt retain a primitive makeup. Bayalt has yet to be exploited, so the Reapers appear to have ignored it. Probes suggest it is high in chondrites and troilite. 50%, okay. Uh, pretty sure we will get Reapers. Ah, there we go. Fifty. Okay. Let's go to Tasale. Signal confirmed. Ilium. Ilium is a classic garden world, an entropod between terminal systems and the Asari republics. To abet this trade, the normally stringent customs law, laws of council space on product safety, proscribed materials and sapient trafficking are relaxed. The world is hot and massive. Ground settlement is only possible at the higher polar latitudes. In more equatorial locations, the population is housed in agro archaeology skyscrapers to escape the heat of the surface. Reaper forces met a surprising amount of resistance at Ilium, I, I imagine. Its leaders were paranoid about keeping their fortunes and were influential in both terminus and citadel space. They outfitted the large defense fleet with a high number of fission weapons and in the brief space battle used them on the Reaper's fleet's troop transport rather than their near <coughs> imperious capital ships. As a result, the inevitable ground invasion has been slowed to a crawl as the Reapers manufacture more troops. Oh, I can remember Ilium. Mass Effect 2. Liquid Assets. Not too bad about Ilium. I can't remember where the fuel depot was on Ilium. Ah. Ah, there it is. Let's go before the Reapers come. Okay, we got 100% here. Let's also go for the Nima cluster real quick. Listening post X-19. Oh, is that the area where... Yeah, Mulaxul. Uh, did we...? Oh, th there are Reapers, okay. There is nothing here in this system. I don't even want to know how often I've been in this system already. Probably have to check my older recordings, but... It's just a fuel waste system. Um, okay. Nevertheless, we will still go for Argus Row 2. Because I'm also not sure if that's a new one or not. Probably is, but... Oh, that's a lot. Let's go to Gorgon. That's a long distance. I found something. Oh, okay. Cameron. Cameron is a terrestrial world with a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and argon. The surface is scorching hot, primarily composed of iron with deposits of nickel. Like Uo, Cameron is tight locked to the blue giant forever looking into the face of the Gorgon.
Advanced power relays. Probably activate the, the Reapers now, but... Oh, it's 100%! Whoops! 100%. So there is no... Not sure if we can reach that. Be a close one. I hope we did it. I hope we get some... something here. Uh, what's that? Pinnacle Station. Pinnacle Station. The asteroid-based Pinnacle Station was originally constructed by the Turians to function as a concealed command center during the Krogan rebellions. It has been retrofitted as a military training facility for all high-level special operation teams employed by the Council. The station's combat simulator allows teams to train under a variety of hazardous conditions. Signal confirmed. Oh. So we can scan the pinnacle. Okay. Pinnacle station. Turian's back ops team. Oh, there's a lot to, to gather, I think. Oh. oh, nice. I think we found everything. In Taise, an atmosphere. Similar to Earth, made Intersei an early candidate for human colonization, however, prohibitively high temperatures and an arid climate have proven a hindrance to terraforming and agriculture. A few human cities were founded, but the majority of the human population on Intersei remains scattered across the vast desert, operating wind farms and geological research stations. Oh, there it is. Fossilized calculus. I think that's a quest. Okay, let's, let's move here. Okay, it's not that much, but it's enough. Reapers eluded. It's at least enough to get back here. Hydra. I found something. Yeah, I found Reapers. Kenram. Kenram is a small rocky world with a trace atmosphere of methane and krypton. Its surface is mainly composed of magnesium and silicates with deposits of carbon. Kenram was the site of the warlord Shiagor's defeat by Turian peacekeeping forces during the Krogan rebellions. While this band was not especially powerful, Shiago was a female warlord and one of the few remaining fertile females at that. She had, through viciousness and cunning, parlayed her unique value to a position of power. Krogan males competed for the right to join her band and lie with her. The, uh, when Shiago's death was announced, vengeful male Krogan admirers near and far swore a blood oath against the participating Turian crews. In the end, several thousand of the Turian participants were killed in open combat or through assassination. To this day, many Krogan proudly proclaim that they have the blood of Shiagur. Haptic Optics Array. So now it will be fun, because I'm pretty sure... That was a nice one. And away we go. And we didn't even activate the Reapers. That's a win. Let's try the Hades Nexus. I'm pretty sure that's also a new one. Here we have Hoplos, Paymat, and Sheol. I think we're gonna go for Sheol because it's the farthest away. Okay, uh, signal confirmed. Guy 
Him on. A nearly atmosphereless, tidally locked planet orbiting a red dwarf star, Gay Himnum was the first place human explorers discovered a dedicated Prothean burial ground. While a few sites were saved for posterity, Elt Eltfell Ashland Mining successfully lobbied to scout the rest of the planet for Elemental Zero, Element Zero, and soon was embroiled in a scandal. Mining teams were looting grave sites, searching for Iso and other treasures, and many got rich of the so-called cemetery business. While EEM officially brought a stop to the looting, its mining teams remain on the planet, prospecting the unclaimed territory and taking the ore to the Pamiat system for refining. Travel advisory. Armed conflicts have broken out between miners and scientists, taking claim for protein runes. Visitors are advised to employ security while exploring unknown regions. Not sure, but I think we have been on this planet as a quest in Mass Effect 2, but I'm not sure. Prothean Sphere. Okay. Yes. So that's 100%. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can reach Pemyot. We can. Uh... I found something. Dobrovolsky, another near-Earth-sized rock planet without much atmosphere to speak of. Dobrovolsky is home to Altair Mineral Works, a local extraction company noted for its success in ease of refining. The planet itself provides aluminum for local fabricators, which are churning out habitats at an astonishing rate for a system that has no garden planets. With its ore supply coming all the way from the shield system, Dobrovilsky is held up as the proof of the miners' cliché where there's ESO, there's an economy. Alliance Frigate Leipzig. Alliance First Fleet. Oh, updated. Okay. So we got 50%, so I still hope we get some... There we go. Some fuel. 100. Oh, that's not enough. I think. Faster than light jump successful. Oh no, it's not enough. No, we have to fuel up. No. Okay. Oh, it's only 42%. Okay. Let's go to the citadel. Or at least in the system. Uh, I think I'll end this episode here and next time we will go to the Citadel and uh, finish some quests that we uh, gathered here and then we'll probably go back to Bryson's lab and uh, continue Leviathan. So thanks for watching, hope to see you again in the next episode when we continue Leviathan. Till then, have fun and 